and call six. Well, this is a beach. It's really, really, really the beach. Nobody speaks English apart from this guy who said, Mr. Mister, he'll take me on an hour trip for 700,000, reduced it to 50,000, nothing. And then to send those mats, he reckons 50,000. Which is only $5, $3, but you could buy it. You could buy the whole mat for that, you know? It's like 5,000. I'm only going to be here 10 minutes. So that's normal, you know? People on the beach, I don't know, but just can't be bothered. Just didn't feel right. So, oh yeah. So that's the beach. That's the family. You hear the sound of the thunder on the water park. Hey, it's not bad. I'm called six, just because the bus turned the wrong way. What happens when you catch the wrong bus? Yeah. I was thinking, um, you know how I'm an old person now, you know, even though I'm not old, I'm just maturing and, um, you know, and I have a bad knee and always saying, you know, I have a bad knee, you know, I'm doing rehabilitation and I am, you know. I actually believe my knee was better this morning, but I, after walking a few K, I realised it's far from it. But the thing about that is old people, what do they talk about generally there? You know, what's wrong with them, you know? Hey Fred, how's it going? Uh, not bad, the doctor uh, giving me some red pills to take now. Uh, and Maud, she's come down with a fever and... Uh, oh yeah, that's too bad, well... Yeah, well, you know, um, I, I got osteoarthritis now and... Uh, you know, stay home all the time, can't go out of the house, you know. Oh, yeah, well, going to Teddy's funeral on uh, Saturday, and uh, there seems to be less of us around now. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, and then on Friday night, I'm uh, having, um, got to see my specialist to... Uh, ongoing therapy and uh, yeah I know what you're saying uh, seems the only people uh, we see these days are our doctors and healthcare workers and uh, Fred came down with um, new disease and uh, he's not doing too well Mary was saying yeah I know I uh, talked to Fred and uh, he you know Doctor said he's got uh, five to live. Yeah, he got five to live. Is he got five days? Uh, no, actually, five, four, three, two, one. Is he? Why you mean he's gone? He's part. Yeah, he's gone. Wow. Yeah, I know. Um, God damn, I got so many funerals booked next week. Um, don't know how I'm going to fit them all in. Oh yeah, I know what you're saying. Um, no, what you're saying there. Um, yeah, Mary, she's not doing too well. Um, she, you know, she's, she, she's in a wheelchair when we go out. You know, you know I, I'm in my wheelchair and I gotta push her around too. Um, and and um, it's, it's getting pretty hard going you know, with two wheelchairs in the supermarket. Yeah, I know what you mean, you know. It's, um, it's kind of like that, eh? Um, yeah, so that's what that's what you kind of get um, as you get older, you know, you hit 65 plus. Um, that's how people are talking, I guess, you know. On the beach. 
you can sit down for 50,000. That's five Australian dollars, but 50,000 is, you can go to a swimming pool for 35,000. You can get a hamburger for 20,000. You can buy a packet of cigarettes, Marlborough for 30,000. Why would you pay 50,000 to sit down on, on, um, on, um, that for? Is it because I'm a tourist? I said 5,000. Yeah, I'd pay 5,000. No problem, about 50,000. You fucking got rocks in your head or what? So I told the guy, I don't believe, I don't believe what he says anymore. These guys, no, I think that would be a good trip. You know, that would probably be about 50,000, five bucks to do that. This is the third time I've been to Angkor, but first time this trip. But um, I've earmarked it into my I have earmarked it to um, come on Sunday, Sunday at 4 p.m. to watch the concert. Yeah. This is something about the salty salty air from the salty water which um, is really not relaxing. And I know how to navigate, you know, I know how to walk back to the bus station and, and then um, the beauty of where I live, Harmony, one is near Monas, but it's very accessible from anywhere in Jakarta, basically. Well, one, it's on the way to Katatua. Katatua is famous. That's where I was when we went to Imagrasi and I was coming back and uh, got the wrong bus. And then a series, one choice, and call, I'll come here. And um, do something different today because normally every day I just go to Gajamata, swim. This is a nice alternative. My evening will be the same. I'll still be, um, but the thing about the evening is that there's a Harrison movie that, uh, called The Wild that's come to Gajamata. The last movie I saw was at 7.30 p.m. So I want to go back to Gajamata. Where do I like in Jakarta? I like Carrefour the best, the supermarket. I like the people there, they like me. I like being surrounded by so much food. I like my space at the Shakti Hotel because it has fast Wi-Fi and have a laptop. Once you have, it's 4G. 5G has come to, um, 5G has come to, uh, what's country, South Korea are embracing that and so at Singapore. But the thing about 5G is it's a short wave frequency and you need many, many, many more terminals or, see that post there, you know what I mean? Like that, that, that pillar, you need many, many more pillars because it's a short wave frequency, you know? So 5G is about 100 times faster than 4G. But most South Koreans are saying, well, they don't need 5G. Like, 4G is plenty. And then if you go into the country areas, with the 5G won't work anyway. So anyway, Angkor, 5G, 4G. Singapore are embracing it by 2023. South Korea are leading some technology. They've built this park um, to have self-drive cars. Freaking amazing what they're doing. South Koreans are very, very um, hip people. That's all the Japanese. Yeah.